All right, welcome everybody to our closing session. We're going to be doing some trivia first. We're going to start off with a quick, quick round of trivia and then we'll roll into the wrap up session. Um, so the trivia this year is actually taken from the presentations that were given throughout the day. So I asked the presenters to send me some questions and I've pulled a few of those um, to put into our trivia app. So um, you'll actually be joining um, let me put a screen here. This URL here, crowd.live um, slash 2JUAC, and I'll paste that into the chat there in Zoom. Um, if you go there, that's going to let you play. And I'm going to be um, showing the questions up on the screen, but you'll also see each question as it comes up. Um, the idea is that the quicker you answer correctly, the more points you get. So um, if you know the answer, you want to click fast. Um, and then it, it, the program tallies up all the points and everything automatically. So we'll see the leaderboard as we go. Um, so is everybody ready to get going? I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and start the game. We're starting the countdown now. So our first question, which of the following sentences with link text and quotes are used are using universal design for good link text? I'm not going to read these because they take too long to read. You guys can read them. Looks like Tiffany's in first place coming right out of the blocks there. This one's a question about the PMC. The answer was all the above. All right, looks like Tiffany's still the player to beat. Well, Terry's coming up second and Charles was in third. These are principles to keep in mind when designing course content. All right, the answer is all of the above. And Tiffany's still hanging on to that lead. All right, gamifying a classroom. And the answer was false. Ah. Tiffany dropped down and Charles and Kozar Joe have pulled ahead. A little question about our social media presence here for the Sakai LMS. And the answer is all of above. We do you have Twitter, Insta, and Facebook. So Tiffany pulled back up into the lead spot. It's a close race though. Another accessibility question. How many, what percentage of people are colorblind? All right, that's answer C. 10 to 11 percent of males. And Charles is now in the lead. Christina coming up second. You guys must have answered really fast to get a lot of points. All right, minimum color contrast ratio. This one's a little more technical. All right, the answer is A. And David makes a, a showing on the leaderboard here. It's anybody's game at this point. 
What's the primary benefit to using lessons? All right, the answer is B. It's a one-stop shop. Dave's still in the lead. Terry coming up second. All right, this one's a little more technical. Cloud-based spreadsheet database. Some of your technical folks will probably get this one. Airtable is the answer. And David's still in the lead. We are giving away three prizes for this, by the way, first, second, and third. All right, how often does Sakai release a major version? Annually. All right, Terry jumped into the lead this time. What was the goal of UVA's faculty showcase? If any of you were uh, listening in on that session, you should know this. To help faculty see online more approachable. All right, Kozer Joe is in the lead now with David and Tiffany. Tiffany's back up in the, the top three. What version of Sakai did Maris use on their virtual old virtual conference site? That was Sakai 11 they were using. All right, our leaderboards still got the, those three folks kind of swapping places. All right, this one's about the new features and lessons. I'm sure David will probably get this one. All right, answer C, nine different color schemes. All right. What does accessibility equal, according to Chris Knapp? All right, and then that's better usability for all your customers. All right, Tiffany's in the lead again. This is our last question coming up. We've only got 15 questions. Last chance to make some points here. When is Sakai 21 going to be released? Targeted. All right, that's December 2020. All right, looks like Tiffany stayed in the lead. She was pretty consistent throughout. And then David Bauer is second and Kozar Joe came in third. Kozar Joe, you'll have to tell me who you are because I don't, I can't recognize you by your name there. So you'll have to email me or something afterward. And let me know so I can make sure to send you your prize. Way to go guys, good job. All right, let's uh, go ahead and Stop the game show music and we'll switch back over to our wrap up. So um, we're going to wrap up the rest of the conference. I appreciate you guys staying with me until the end of the day. Um, I think it was a great collection of presentations. We had some really exciting speakers, um, lots of great information shared. So um, hopefully you'll get to go back and watch some of the videos of the sessions that you couldn't be at. I know there were several that I was wishing I was in two places. So um, I'll be excited to see those recordings afterward as well. And I will send out an email to let you guys know when those are ready. 
Um, once again, another shout out to our sponsors. I thank um, you guys in the morning, but I'll, I'll repeat myself. Um, we couldn't do it without you. So we really appreciate uh, the support from all of our sponsors, Learning Experiences, Longsight, Blindsight Networks, uh, EDF, LAMP, and Open Collab. Thank you guys so much. And thank you to the planning committee. And this one's a little self-serving, I know, but Josh and I were the, the main planners this time around because everybody was kind of overwhelmed with COVID at, at their local institutions. So I thought I would throw in a little thank you there because Josh in particular uh, deserves a, a nod there. And uh, thank you to our session moderators. They always help things run smoothly. So the folks that have been doing the introductions and starting the recordings all day, um, thank you guys. Christina, Derek, Kenny, Martin, Charles, Josh, Laura, and Terry. Um, couldn't do it without you. And big thanks to everybody who's here, all of you today who registered. We actually had 234 attendees register for today's event, which I thought was awesome. It was actually larger than last year um, by a few. We had a little over 200 last year, so we actually had more folks attending this year. And um, there were in total 33 presentations, uh, not counting the escape room or the trivia session. And we had um, 36 presenters throughout the day. So good showing from all the different folks and all around the community. So now we're going to announce our contest winners and the trivia contest we just completed so you guys know who you are. I did not have time to update this slide but we know it's uh, Tiffany, David, and Kozar Joe um, who will send me his email so I can uh, identify him. And uh, now we'll move on to the photo contest. So I previewed this a little bit um, right before the keynote. And uh, unfortunately, the, the crowd per app that let me pull up that social wall, I couldn't make it public. It was just like the social wall is meant to be projected in a room. Um, and since we're not all together in a room, um, at least not a, a physical room. Um, I couldn't do that. But what I have done is gone in and pulled some of those photos um, so that we can see everybody that posted. So um, here we go with Laura. I don't know if you guys saw this one. She posted on Twitter um, and she had a couple of great ones um, prior to the conference actually um, saying, where am I? You're in the good place. Uh, SakaiCon 2020 and encouraging folks to register with her Sakaiger ears and everything. So, um, so that those are some great photos from Laura. Uh, Michelle posted with her Sakai mug um, from the conference. And so did Adam. Adam posed with his Sakai Ger mug. And here's Christina with her mask and her stuffed Sakai Ger and her Sakai Ger ears, which is awesome. And I think there was a little rivalry going on there in the stuffed animal world um, that we also got to see a little sneak peek there. And you'll notice, um, I, you probably did, that the Sakai Ger has a mask on. So he's, um, he's following protocols there for, for COVID. Um, OK, here's Harold posing with a couple of his mugs um, and a collection of lanyards. It looks like those are a lot of lanyards there, Harold. <laughs> so um, he's been to many, many Sakai events over the years. And here's Mark pointing at a Sakai Ger up on the mantle there with his mug. And here's Chris, he's out there. And I know you probably can't read the sign, but it says Sakai Ger Con or Bust. Um, and there's a little Sakai Ger um, out being walked on a leash, uh, which was very clever. And then we have one that was Photoshopped by Bonnie. Um, so I guess she didn't have any gear handy, so she made some digitally. And then we've got some sleepy dogs um, kind of lounging in the background while their owner attends the conference. Very cute. And, uh, and Josh posted a couple times as well. He's there with his Sakaiger. And then there's also Ruby um, posing with the Sakaiger. And there's one of me I took yesterday with um, my shirt from the first conference and my mug from this year. I've got my this year's t-shirt on today. So, all right, so those were all our lovely photos. I do thank everyone who, um, who posted, we appreciate it. And uh, 
and you guys will all get prizes as will the random prize winners. I did do a random drawing before this session. I used to do it live, but it just takes too long. Um, so you'll just have to trust me. I used a random number generator to, uh, to do the drawing. And these are our five winners. Amy, Mitch Dunn, Gabriela Frankel, Arlito Puente and Kurt Finger. So all of you guys will get some prizes as well. And you may be wondering, what do you get? Well, you get an Amazon e-card, $25, and you get some Sakaiger socks, or Sakaiger as they are also known. Um, and you'll see a photo there of the Sakaiger socks. That's a brand new swag item that Dr. Chuck um, put together. And so we'll be sending those out after the fact. Um, so enjoy your suck Igers. All right, so um, the last little thing is just a reminder about the conference evaluation. You can go to this bit.ly and I'll actually paste it. Whoops, I'll try to paste it. <laughs> uh, I'll paste it into the chat. Whoops, let me put in for everyone. There we go. All right. Um, so uh, if you want to go to that bit.ly and fill out the eval, um, we love feedback. It helps us improve the event and um, try things out every year. So we really appreciate your feedback. I'll also send a reminder um, with the link to the eval in case you don't feel like doing it today. Um, but you will get a nag email from me later. <laughs> um, so once again, we appreciate you attending. I'm really glad you could all stay with us until the end of the day here. And I really hope you enjoyed um, this year's conference and I hope we'll see you again next year. So thank you, everybody. So Wilma, I have one recording on my computer. Okay, just send it to me after. Okay, will it go through email? Uh, maybe if it's too big, you can maybe upload it to, um,